Hello everyone, how are you doing? Um, always gonna make sure I don't have nothing on my teeth. I miss you guys so much. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's been forever. I know I always say that. But my nephew is now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, I've been missing, I know, um, I've been going through a lot in my life, my personal life, and I'm not going to get into it, but one thing I will say is that I'm very happy that my nephew, Aiden, um, my sister just had a baby in June, and he was in the hospital for about a week, so that really put a, um, that really broke my heart, and so I wasn't really in the mood to film, and just a bunch of other stuff happening as well. Um, but I'm happy to say that my nephew is now back home and he is safe where he should be in his mom's arms and just I'm happy that he's okay and my sister's okay and all that. So I don't want to get into ramble because I always do but this is going to be my July favorites. I did not get to film a June favorite so I apologize but this is kind of like things I've been collecting in the month of June and July that ha I've been um, really enjoying um, in those two months. So I don't have like a ton, well I don't know if this is considered a ton or not for other people, but I just wanted to make a July favorites and I know it's going to be up a little bit earlier than um, normal, but I just don't want, I have other videos I want to film so I don't want to put this on the back burner again and then not get another favorites up. So that's why I'm choosing to do it now. But anyways, how are you guys doing? Let me, do, let me know down in the comments below. Um, let's just jump into it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, which I've been loving, 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 loving is, can we just have a moment to clap for this? I'm so excited. The Lorac Pro Palette 2. Lorac Palette Pro Palette 2. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. But it looks like this. I always have wanted the Lorac one and for some reason I never picked it up because I do have the Too Faced chocolate bar and I was gonna it was either between the chocolate bar or the Too Faced chocolate bar or the Lorac Pro one and I was like you know what let me do the Lorac the Lorac let me do the chocolate bar but truth be told I I rarely use that palette I do like it I do love the way it smells but I don't see myself like reaching for it when I do my makeup all that often. I really love Lorac eyeshadows. I feel like I have the Summer Glow Palette, the Afterglow Palette, and I reach for those more over the Chocolate Bar one. Although there is some pretty shades in the Chocolate Bar, um, I just feel like the quality of the Lorac eyeshadows are a little bit better in my opinion. So this is what it looks like. I know this is like turning into a review. That's not what I meant to do. But it looks like this. It's absolutely stunning. It comes with this thing that protects your eyeshadows. One of the complaints I had about the the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette was that none of the names were written and on this one you can see that they are all named so that's really nice and I'm sorry about my lighting. It is a weird day today and I do film with natural lighting like I always tell you guys but I do have swatches and I do have pictures on my Instagram so I'll be sure to put my Instagram name down below or in the video somewhere so be sure to follow me if you want to and then you can see more pictures and stuff on there. So that's what the colors look like. There's this beautiful beautiful navy blue in here it's just and let me just show you how pigmented these are. This is like a true navy blue and honestly this is why I wanted this palette is for this blue because I love blue you guys know I'm like a big big fan of blue that's my favorite color so they're so pigmented and that's without a primer I do show you pictures like I said in swatches on my Instagram without a primer so imagine how pigmented they would be with the primer so I'm just gonna swatch one more for you guys and it looks like that so they're buttery they're smooth they're just beautiful 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 shadows so I really really love this Lorac Pro too I'm like so in love with this I've been using this almost like every time I do my makeup I did have a wedding I just went to and I did use this to create the look that I had on in my pictures on my Instagram so if you guys um, maybe I'll do a tutorial sometime but for now I have my pictures on my Instagram so we're gonna move on because I can talk about this palette like all day because it's so beautiful and I just love it and by the way it's $42 at Ulta and like probably like I think I paid like 43 or something with tax I can't remember but I know it's $42 for the price point so moving on the next thing is this Neutrogena oil free eye makeup remover 
and oh my gosh you guys I am obsessed um, with putting eyeshadow on my eyes lately I haven't been doing it as often as I normally would before but I feel like when I have like a eyeliner a black eyeliner or when I do my winged eyeliner I feel like it's hard to take it off or there's certain mascaras that are harder to take off and this just takes off my eye makeup like a dream and I really really love this I actually found out about this through my sister-in-law because I never really got into I always just use like white bees and Vaseline I know that's like not the way to do it but that's how I've always done it but then I noticed that it did clog up my pores so I was like it's time to invest in an um, eye makeup remover a real one so my sister-in-law gave me one of these a long time ago and I ended up using it I loved it I that bottle is now empty and this is a repurchase so I love 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 this stuff to remove my eye makeup it's amazing so check it out it's about five bucks I'm gonna try to keep it rolling the next thing is this glass container I got it for from the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree I cannot remember I think it was the 99 cent only store though and the reason why I love this is was because I was looking for something to keep my um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge Blender somewhere where it would be sanitary and I can just drop it in there on top of my vanity and I wouldn't feel like all this stuff is like you know just putting it on my dresser or something like that is not very sanitary so I wanted like a little jar for it and it fits just perfectly in there so that's that so the next thing I want to talk about I'm just gonna move this stuff out of the way um, the next thing I want to talk about is my um, this lipstick I was wearing yeah I was wearing these two lipsticks along well let's talk about the lippies I guess these three lip products here I have talked about this lip gloss already and my I don't know I've talked about it a lot I feel like but it is one of my favorites I really really love the formula of these Milani brilliant shine lip glosses and they look like this they're super cute packaging this color in particular is my favorite it's called red my lips and it's super pretty I do not have it on right now but I do have it on on a few other videos from my fancy video and a Bath and Body Works haul I did and also in some Instagram photos I'm wearing this a lot so I just love this I'm also wearing it on the day of the wedding the one I just posted up those pictures on Instagram so it's just absolutely stunning if you guys want to see a swatch again I did swatch this last time but it's just so pretty and I just love the formula and it really smells amazing as well and that's one of the things I love too and the shine is beautiful super pigmented you can wear this by itself and it will be that pigmented on your lips but I like to top it on top of other I like to mix my glosses and my lipsticks that's just who I am but you definitely can wear this alone as well and it's really pretty but the combination I had on my lips for that wedding excuse me while I fix my hair the combination I had on um, my lips for the wedding day is Flamingo Pose which I've talked about these lipsticks a hundred times probably already on my channel and it's the Mil Ugh. Milani Color Statement Lipsticks and I love them they have a big range of colors you guys should check them out they have cream finishes metallic finishes they have um, yeah I think they have like a metallic cream finish all kinds of different finishes a bunch of different colors you'll be able to find any color that will suit you so this is flamingo pose it looks like this and I don't know why it's messed up but that's what it looks like it's a super pretty color so it's like an orangey red like a coral almost so I have this lipstick on which is the flamingo pose by Milani which is this one and then I had this one I just picked up from the drugstore and I freaking love this lipstick I've never tried any of these Revlon lip super lustrous lipsticks because I am a lip gloss girl everybody that watches my channel I say this all the time I do not like matte lips I like cream finishes on my lipsticks I love anything glossy and all that so I was like it's time to try one of these everybody raves about them so I decided to pick one up and I've been really enjoying this. I did wear this on the 4th of July on the pictures that I have on my Instagram. And it is called, what is this called? Cherries in the Snow 440. So that's what it looks like. Focus, are you going to focus? So it is super pretty. 
super duper pretty. It's like a berry pink red, like a berry type of red. It's super pretty, and this is what I wore on the day of the wedding mixed with these other two things. So I had this lipstick on, it's right here. So this is Cherries in the Snow, right here. This is Flamingo Pose, so I mixed that. And then I put the gloss on top, which is the Red My Lips by Milani. Super, super pretty. So, um, okay, so now I'm getting all dirty. I'm super, super dirty. Sorry, I'm like trying to wipe myself on a towel. So that's that. And then the next thing I want to talk about is this. I think I've talked about this before too. I can't remember. Physicians Formula Matte Collection Quad Eyeshadow class in Classic Nudes. I love this little quad. I reach for it so much when I do my makeup. When I just want a natural look. It gives the most beautiful, beautiful um, natural shadows in your crease when you just want something to th ugh, something to throw inside your crease really quickly these shades are absolutely stunning I love that they give you a variety this is like a kind of warm brown with uh, orange undertones and then they give you a cream vanilla matte they're all matte cream vanilla shade they give you a darker brown and then they give you this really light light brown which I love for the crease so these are amazing I know everybody loves the Naked Basics palette and I never bought that one but I just found this and I love this so much they're so pigmented they blend like a dream they're beautiful I just love 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 this so yeah that's that try one of these out I love them so Moving on, I'm going to talk about two mascaras, and the two mascaras that I'm loving right now is the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. I've talked about it before, I believe, but I'm not sure if I put it in a favorites or not. Another one that I picked up is the Clump Crusher by CoverGirl, the Lash Blast, Lash Blast, <laughs> Tongue Twister, Clump, Clump Crusher by Lash Blast, CoverGirl, I don't know. So it looks like that, and that's what I have on today. This is the mascara I will go towards when I just want a natural look. When I'm not trying to make my eyelashes look like boom, like fake lashes, and I just want like a natural eyelash. This is the mascara that I love. And I love the brush, and it's also, a it's not a wet formula, it's not a dry formula. It's right in between, it's just perfect. The brush looks like this, so it makes it really easy. I'm not sure if you can see that makes it really easy to get in there it also separates really really nicely and I just love it I love putting it on top of other mascaras I love it by itself it's just amazing so check it out and then the voluminous butterfly mascara looks like this I am obsessed with this this can give you false looking lashes I'm not sure about everybody but for me that is true I can get my lashes to be super super huge and if you see like in my pictures and you're like wow her eyelashes look nice in the Instagram photos most of the time I, I never wear false lashes I hardly have ever used false lashes in my life and I just use mascaras and I know how to do like little techniques to get them to look fake so maybe one day I'll do that for you guys but um, I love the brush on this it's very strange actually it's also an in-between formula. It's not too wet, it's not too dry. When you first open it, it is a little bit wet, but then after a while it starts drying out to the perfect consistency. So this is what it looks like. The brush, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is a very strange, strange brush. It has like these wings, but it makes it really easy. I don't know if you can even see. Makes it really easy to, ooh to get those corner lashes and even your bottom lashes to make them longer and all that. I just, I love this, you guys. I really love the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. Check it out if you haven't tried it. It's really good stuff. And I'm gonna lift up the camera so you guys can see the um, CoverGirl Lash Blast is on my eyes, the green one. This is what I'm wearing today. The green one, yeah, the CoverGirl one is what I have on today. So it just gives you like a natural lash. I don't know if you can see that. So that's that. Okay, so moving on to these. 
color tattoos. I love the Maybelline color tattoos. I've been reaching for them a lot more. I've had them for a while, but I just didn't really grab them and use them. And I've been trying to use these up because I don't want them to dry out because I have a whole bunch of them. I have three different shades. I have right here with me is a Too Cool. You can't even see that. Oops. Too Cool. It's like a white color, snow white color. And this one's called Barely Branded. It's like a champagne-y color. I probably should have opened them for you. That probably would have been smarter. But here's Barely Branded. And the other one is Bad to the Bronze. And I really love these color tattoos, you guys, as a base. They're so, so pretty. They last all day long. And they're just super, super pretty. So here's Bad to the Bronze probably one of the most popular ones and then here is barely branded right here the color it looks like a champagne color so I recommend if you guys want to pick one up and you just knew to try these the barely branded and the bad to the bronze are really pretty so here it is that's barely branded barely branded sorry I'm always tongue twisted on my channel aren't I okay so that's that moving on Okay, so I forgot to mention that I did get a Lorac behind the scenes eye primer. My son just walked in, don't mind. Um, and I love this stuff. I've, I, I don't know how to explain this. It's just amazing. I really, really have never been into eye primers. I just use concealers because, I don't know, I just feel like I've never found one that I really enjoy or I like that much. But this Lorac behind the scenes eye primer, it came with my Lorac Pro 2 palette. It came together like this and I just think it's a really decent amount that they give you to try out and I've been using it and I use this on the wedding day to test it out and my eyeshadows lasted all day. So I'm really impressed with this eye primer so far and that's what it looks like. Ooh. All the products will be listed down below so, down below if you guys need to check, it, check them out or anything like that, okay? Um, moving on, I have this brush here, and it's an e.l.f. complexion brush. I use this brush every single day of my life, like, no joke. Whenever I do my makeup, this is the brush I reach for the most to um, do my contouring, to put some powder on. Um, I love this. It's a multitask brush. I love it for bronzer mostly, but that's what it looks like. And it looks like this it's only three dollars at Target and it's amazing I love it you can do so much you can put blush you can put your bronzer everything so I love this brush so check it out sold at Target for three dollars the next thing I want to talk about is this eyeliner by Alme and it's a what is this crayon type and type of eyeliner looks like this this is what I also had on for the wedding day and it looks really really nice it, it's really really black it lasts all day it doesn't smudge and in the pictures on my Instagram for the wedding I was wearing this eyeliner it's super duper duper black and pretty it's right there and what I like is that it comes with a sharpener in the back it comes with a little sharpener so that you can sharpen it and keep the tip nice and um, pointed so love that this is the Elmay um, crayon in black eyeliner pencil retractable pencil okay so lastly um, one more thing I want to talk about before I go into my other stuff I got um, the covergirl outlast day fabulous 3-in-1 foundation also I was wearing this um, in my on the wedding day and I love the way this lasts all day for girls who have combination to oily skin like myself I suffer in the heat so badly with staying matte and this does it for me it really I don't even have to use concealer when I use this foundation which is saying a lot because I love concealer but you definitely can use concealer if you want to but you do not have to because it claims to do everything it's just amazing it says lasting power of a primer coverage of a concealer and blendability of a foundation in one shine free all that is true my shade is in nude beige 832 nude beige is my shade this is the CoverGirl um, Outlast Day Fabulous Foundation. Amazing, phenomenal, rave, rave, rave about this product right now. Seriously, I love it so much. Especially for the summertime, for days where you want to look flawless and beautiful and all that. 
So now moving on, I'm going to go ahead and tell you one thing I did not like. It's the Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Eraser. This is a dump it for me. I will not repurchase this. It does not work good at all. Do not like it. Leaves my face looking really greasy after like an hour. It just starts looking a hot mess. So I do not like this product at all. And then lastly, I want to just talk quickly because my camera is running out of space already as I can see. Um, I did go to Bath & Body Works. You guys know I love my Bath & Body Works and I've been obsessed lately using all my coupons and all that. So I did pick up a couple new scents and I do love these so much. Sorry, excuse me, I have an itch on my nose. Endless Weekend is one of the ones I picked up. It looks like this. I'm trying to, I feel like you guys are zoomed in way too much. Okay, so it looks like this. It smells really, really good. So I recommend you guys try that one. I don't have enough time on my camera to talk about it more. But um, another one is the Cooling Gel Lotion Sunset by The Pool. Looks like this, and this is like a weird, very strange consistency. It's very, very lightweight lotion, so you guys should check it out. It just, it's very, very lightweight, and I love this stuff. It smells so good. So these are the cooling lotions by Bath & Body Works. They're very, very nice for the summer. I recommend you guys go check them out. They just came out with these. And then they're on sale right now too for $6, so that's really good. I did get um, this Hello Sunshine body spray. Also, I got a lotion, but I forgot to bring it to show you guys. And I'm obsessed with their sprays. I love sprays, you guys know that. And I also got another cooling lotion called Peace, Love, and Daisies. Looks like that. And this one smells really good as well. It has a very floral smell and limey, like a lime floral smell, if you guys are into that. It smells super, super pretty. And the notes on this one is white, bergamot, bergamot, daisy petals, lavender tea. So it smells really, really good. And that is it. That is all for my video today. I don't want to get cut off like last time. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites um, for the month of June and July. I know it was a lot, um, but it was combined. So I hope you guys enjoy your day. God bless you guys always. Talk to you guys later. I will have some more videos coming up for you soon. Hopefully, cross your fingers. So yeah, talk to you guys later, guys.